Welcome to CBT News with Cheyenne Malone. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to CBT News. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Thanks so much for joining us. Here's a look at today's top automotive industry stories. Used vehicle sales rose sharply in March as consumers began hunting for more budget-friendly options. Pre-owned retail transactions rose 18.5% from February and roughly 11% from last year, hitting the highest level in two years. The increase in sales dragged days supplies down to 44 days. The used car market has seen rapid growth since the start of the year, heavily outpacing sales in the new vehicle segment for much of 2024. Next year, General Motors will move its headquarters away from its home of nearly 30 years to the new Hudson Detroit building located on Woodford Avenue. The Hudson site, owned by billionaire Dan Gilbert, is the second tallest skyscraper in Detroit, beaten by only the Renaissance Center, which serves as GM's current HQ. The automaker's move reflects a need for less office space following the COVID-19 pandemic, which saw many employees transition to remote work. Struggling EV startup Fisker has succeeded in growing its dealership network despite facing a potential bankruptcy due to meager sales. After signing several U.S. dealers early this year, the automaker has partnered with an additional storefront in Miami, as well as 12 locations located throughout Europe. The expansion follows Fisker's full year earning report released last month, which the brand warned investors it lacked the resources to continue operations without a significant cash infusion. The gap between what car buyers are able to pay and what sellers are charging is shrinking, according to Cars.com 2024 affordability report. The digital retail platform says the new vehicle's price below the $30,000 mark is the fastest growing segment in the current market, dragging down average list price to a one-year low. Some of the most affordable options this year include the Kia Forte LXS, Nissan Kicks S, Chevrolet Equinox LS, Ford Maverick XL, and the Hyundai IQ6. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back with Ryan Haskell, Fix Op Director at Jeff Weiler Automotive Family to discuss the modern auto technician's career path. CBT News is expanding its reach like never before and is launching in over 70 million broadcasting households. Whether you have Roku, Apple TV, or a mobile device running on Android or iOS, you can now enjoy our engaging, in-depth interviews with dealers, automakers, trade associations, best-selling authors, motivational speakers, and so much more, whenever and wherever you are. Simply search CBT News in the App Store of your smart TV. Consumers are holding on to their cars longer today, meaning, you know, they're visiting the service lane much more often. Are you seeing that to be the case where you are? You know, many of our customers are expressing a greater intention uh, to keep their vehicles for a longer period of time. Um, and that shift in mindset has resulted in a, a more strategic approach to their vehicle maintenance. Um, so while the growth of overall ROs uh, has been pretty flat this year, we are seeing uh, that services performed are often now more comprehensive mm -hmm. um, as customers are prioritizing longevity and reliability of their vehicles. Sure, sure. How are service advisors handling um, handling the increased business? I mean, sometimes they, they don't get a chance to do walk arounds or spend much time with customers when the, that lane is so full. Yeah, I mean, so we have a strong team of service advisors. Um, that have a great process in place. Uh, and they were absolutely fond of the customer's willingness uh, to invest more in their vehicles um, as they're eager to please our customers and, and make sure we have the retention uh, for next year. Yeah, for sure. So talk to me about the, uh, the technician playbook that you've created. What, what inspired you to put this together? Yeah, so I've been in the industry for about 20 years. Um, and in this industry, it's kind of, you know, here's the keys, uh, here's a laptop, make it better. <laughs> um, and, and unfortunately, you know, that's, that's kind of how it's been. Yeah. Uh, so I recognize the importance for these entry level kids coming in, uh, to kind of have a career path set up for them, something they could follow and, and track along the way to track their goals, um, and where they want it to be. Uh, so it goes over everything from training to production goals, efficiency goals, uh, key metrics for growth. Um, and then most importantly, their compensation at every level, yeah. um, and what it takes to get there. 
That's great. That, and that is something different than other uh, dealerships that they might walk into for a job. Because I know that for the time that I was running dealerships, we didn't have anything like that. But I definitely could see a need for something like that, especially with new newbies coming on to the team, right? That they're just kind of trying to figure out where their locker is or, you know, where the lunchroom might be or whatever the case is. And, uh, and oftentimes so many people are so busy, they can't take the time to help them. So, um, yeah. uh, so something like this, I, I would imagine is, is very valuable to them. It has been. Yeah. I mean, the technicians that kind of go through and, and see what it is, um, absolutely not only appreciate it, but, but then they're following it. Uh, I've, I've had the opportunity to move up now six uh, express technicians to become line technicians, wow. one of which is now master certified um, That's in the six years I've been there. So it's, it's, it's really cool to see the, uh, the adaptation that, that's, that's happened in our industry. And you can watch this full interview right here at cbtnews.com. Well, that does wrap our show for today, but we do expect you right back here tomorrow morning on cbtnews.com. Remember, it's easy to stay up to date with the most recent news and trends influencing the retail automotive industry. All you have to do is follow us. We are on TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, and X, formerly known as Twitter. And now you can find CBT News in over 70 million broadcasting households. We're on Roku, Apple TV, Android, and iOS devices. Simply search CBT News in the App Store on your smart device and you can watch our programming wherever, whenever. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Thanks so much for watching. You have a good one. CBT News, your number one resource for auto industry news and content.